is when we look at a problem like this, uh, you guys can see that we have an arc from m to n that is 228 degrees. So automatically, just figuring out this problem, I already know if this is 228, then this is going to be 360 minus 228, right? And that's going to equal 132 degrees. So the arc from he, the minor arc from here to here would be 132. Now the next thing that I look at, Alexandra, is I look at, all right, what type of angle is this? Now this is an inscribed angle that has a secant and a tangent line. So since we're now including a secant and tangent line, but this is still a um, inscribed angle. And if you guys remember, the definition or the formula for an inscribed angle is measure of angle 6 is e going to equal to 1 half its arc, which would be from m to n. So it's, this is even though it's a tangent and a secant line, it's an inscribed angle. Because remember, inscribed angles were when you had the vertex on the circle, right? So when you have the vertex on the circle, it's always 1 half of what the arc is. In this case, my arc is 132. So I say measure of angle 6 equals 1 half of 132 degrees. So it'd be 66 degrees. Okay?